get paid. Hey, what do you say? Don't be surprised, it's 400 UG. I'm protected from her home in danger. I ain't just gonna hide me. So you'll never sign me. Yeah. And they'll never blind me. Fuck it, what's wrong with your timepiece? My wish, it's a timepiece. Hey, I got that flavor. I'm doing this shit, never mind me on God. You hear me? Yeah, man, welcome back. We getting the energy right in the spot tonight. You know, yeah. Hey, you will never catch me. LSD got me. LSD, you got me. Uh, uh. LSD, you got me. I know this design. Woo! Hey, I'm tripping, y'all. I'm tripping. I ain't gonna lie. Play with them motherfucking pay like I ain't got no brain. I'ma give me some motherfuckers. I'm on the time zone. I got your ride, ho. Yeah. Look at this, ride, right, I'm the goat. <laughs> nah, for real. I do my stinker, bitch, Scorpio. Uh -huh. Bitch, I'm a walking soul. I'm living in spirit form. Sometimes I have to get to eat and listen to some pussy, because I'm trying to get me some. I'm trying to get me some. These yeah. niggas played on. Fucking these hoes like me, me. She my little suey on. Huh? She my little suey on. I never stand right beside you. I never stand right beside you. Hey, man, it's your boy T-Top. Let me. Back again, man, it's your boy T-Top. Strong top with T-Top. What is here, number three? What is like? Popping them pain pills. You popping them Percocets. Hey, get out them Percocets, man. Get on some shroom. You nigga popping out them Perks, y'all kicking it with the, with the, with the evil. Y'all not trying to get away from the evil. You do the strong to get away from the evil. You you face that shit, fight the good fight, and then you know what it is. But anyway, man, it's your boy T-Top. Y'all already know what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? We back again. We in the strong house. We in the strong house. This one gonna be a, a little a little more of a direct podcast uh, segment. You know, this is my uh, this is just one of my segments of many. This strong talk though. So fuck out of nonsense. This for my fault. You hear me? This for my fault. This for my for my evangelists. This for my for my for my real spirit workers. This for my uh for my hippies, black hippies, white hippies, whatever the color you hear, y'all know what it is, man. This for my folk though, you feel me? But uh, nah, man, I'm doing pretty good, man. So how y'all doing today, man? You know what I'm saying? Tell me how y'all doing. Down in the comments, I need to know how everybody doing, man. I hope y'all doing great. Since the last time we actually had a link up, well, I dropped another video, but it was more more so um on some. Let me get the let me get a, a good message out to y'all. You know this. Is how we chill with the Thrax Life community. Y'all already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? We on some big shit. We on some high vibrational content. We vibrate high at all time. And speaking of high vibrating high, well, anyway, I'll put the merch. Y'all already know what's going on with the merch. But right now, I'm checking in with the family, man. I'm checking in with the family, man. I hope everybody doing great. Hope everybody staying positive. I hope everybody staying peaceful. I hope everybody elevating. And I hope everybody, you know what I'm saying? You, you don't get mad at the separation when you got to elevate. You feel me? Stay true to yourself at all times. Everything gonna hit. But anyway, I'm off for uh, two grams some exotic mushrooms, some 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 exclusive shit. I'll be honest with you. Uh, you know this for the community. I really don't like you know what I'm saying saying this sh shit like that. But I really don't give a fuck, bro, because people think this is a high. But this is actually a, a a way of life for conscious thinkers to connect with the divine. Sometimes you can't always connect with the divine when you live in in the physical world. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes, but but. We working to connect with the divine at all times. Now, I'm connected to the divine at all times, but you know, mushroom just hands your experience, your, your experience on, in life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Help you, help you get through a lot of shit, help you focus in, draw a lot of attention to what you need to draw a lot of attention to. Uh, anyway, I ain't got to explain this shit because y'all in the community, but for the people who, who want this motherfucker who do want the experience, bro, never let nobody knock your experience just because they think it's a drug or they think this and that. Now, if I'm around these motherfuckers popping perks, snorting coke, then y'all say something. But nah, bro, we on natural substance. I don't even smoke weed, fool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't even smoke weed no more. Right now, still a weed head. I'm still a weed head, but I had to put the weed down just because the weed, I had I abused the weed so much, it, it was, it's not doing anything for me now. You know what I'm saying? But making my thoughts, just me sitting there, you know what I'm saying? On some bullshit. I'm in them motherfucker. You know, that, that, that not to say for nobody else. Cause I'm still, I'm still thrash life. I, I still got weed. You know what I'm saying? I like, I just like to smell weed and shit. You know, and I still do get high in and then. I think like a couple weeks ago I got high. You know, I got a, a runch pen. I don't really smoke it like that, but 
you know, uh, I'm still a weed head at hard, bro, but right now the weed just ain't doing nothing for me. Now, that's just for me. Now, for you, it might do whatever you want it to do. You see what I'm saying? But for me, it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it hinders my progress. You feel what I'm saying? But, anyway, enough of that talk, man. You know what I'm saying? I just want to come to y'all, man, talk to y'all about, man, the art of, uh, matter of fact, I wrote it down. Wrote it down. This motherfucking pad, Jack. I ain't right. We ain't doing none of this shit. Now, I might, some ideas might come to my head and I might write this shit down. But, stay true to yourself. I think I am gonna look on these joints because it is something that I want to say. Yo, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is really real and what is really, yeah. We was writing a whole bunch of other shit. Like, I had, took a little, took a little trip full off camera. And, you know what I'm saying? This shit, it wasn't really, it was just, I was just jumbled all in the brain. But, I'm here today. I don't know how long me sitting in this chair gonna last, y'all. I really don't. But anyway, I want to talk to y'all about mine. Just the art of, uh, art of forgiving yourself, bro. I want to talk to y'all about a number of things today. You know what I'm saying? Why I'm on this trip, this is when I can be the most uh, assertive to a camera a lot of times. The reason what made me start doing strong talk with T-Talk is because a lot of times on these trips, I be saying a lot of shit that I know help people. Now on Instagram, you know, everybody, you know, they come to come to me, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I, I do my shit on Instagram. I do my shit on social media as far as my videos, but I want to get the YouTube uh, more popping and, and that's what inspired me to do these videos because on my trips, bro, it be a lot of shit, be a lot of knowledge I be kicking to myself. It be a lot of knowledge I be kicking the spirit. Sometimes we got to kick that knowledge out, you know what I'm saying, sometimes. And uh, instead of just talking to yourself and always trying to harbor it in, sit, sit, just put a camera on. That's another thing, bro. Just being consistent with what you're doing. I got to be more consistent. I know that. But, you know, uh, when it's time for rest or when I, when I find time that I'm not inspired, I don't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're not inspired and you keep moving and grooving and trying to move along, it's not coming from a place of inspiration. It's actually coming from a place where... You're just all over the place. You jumbled up. You feel like you just gotta do something. You know what I'm saying? So, my I always never forget to relax on yourself, chill on yourself. Sometimes give yourself give yourself a break. But when I'm not inspired, I don't do anything. You know what I'm saying? When I'm inspired, like right now, I'm inspired as hell. And then because I had just got fired up earlier, I was some whole other shit. I've been fired up. Look, I'm gonna tell you something. I've been fired up in this bitch. I've been fired up in this bitch before I took some shroom. The shroom jet, they just elevated that nigga. But I'm gonna tell you something, I've been fired up in this bitch for a long time today. Today has been a very unique, successful day. Only because it was some shit that I have put on the table for myself to never go back and do. It was some shit that I laid on the table for myself today and I told myself, I'm finna stick to this shit, cuz, for the rest of my life. For, for not just for six months, for the rest of my life. And this, and I haven't even wrote it down yet, but it, it consists of, I'm just tell y'all, it consists of, man, not tolerating no bullshit, dawg. We be tolerating too much bullshit from motherfuckers or people or objects or things or, or from ourselves. We tolerate too much bullshit from ourselves and why should we tolerate it from anybody else? You feel what I'm saying? So today, I, I, I've been putting up with so much bullshit for myself. This comes from self, man. I was putting up so, with so much bullshit with myself. I'm like, I'm kind of tired of myself, bro. And when you get tired of yourself, that's how you know that, yeah, man, it changes here, bro. Sometimes you got to get real sick of your bullshit. You got to get real sick of your shit. And I had did some shit that, uh, uh, not too, well, day before yesterday and yesterday, uh, kind of like, I do this thing, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I do this thing when I get uh, kind of like anxious or sad, I trickle down into like bad eating habits or, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't eat meat. I trickle down into like doing a bunch of dairy or eating a bunch of junk food or watching a bunch of garbage ad TV. Like I don't even fucking watch, I watch YouTube, but like going down a rabbit hole, doing all this shit instead of creating. And I got to quit doing that shit. And I had caught myself doing that shit, even backtracking the old thoughts and Stuff of that nature, bro. And I told myself today, and that's why I'm so fired up. I told myself today, I'm done with my bullshit. Sometimes you gotta get sick of your own shit, man. 
And that's the type of shit I do. And I ain't afraid to tell y'all that, bro. Like, when, when, and, and, and now, I have learned to, you don't run away from your dark side. That ain't what you do. You don't run away from your dark side. And that's what I tackled today. Instead of running away from the motherfucker, I shook hands with the motherfucker. Look, bro, I don't want to fuck with you. I don't want to fuck with you. I ain't on that lazy ass shit. I'm trying to create. I'm trying to develop knowledge. I'm trying to do what I need to do. I'm trying to handle the business. That's what we going. That was going on. You feel me? And the person I want to be, I'm being it. I'm him. And I don't need no, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, and it just go for y'all too, bro. You don't need your other self, your past self, trying to, you shake hand with that motherfucker. Hey, look, bro, you're done. I got more shit. You know what I'm saying? Because what you tell the universe here, what you tell the universe when you, uh, when you constantly fucking with past things, past thoughts, past traumas, past people, past beliefs, ain't nothing wrong. Don't hold no grudges. Be kind-hearted all the time. But what you tell the universe is you ain't ready for the future. You ain't ready for the big shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you keep on fucking with the other shit. You keep on letting low, low entities get to you. And I had, I had targeted myself there. I had questioned myself. I had beat myself. I ain't going to say I beat myself up about it. But like I said, I shook hands with it. I'm like, damn, cuz. I ain't with all this shit no more. Today marks the last day, nigga, of my celestial being. Of my of my anything, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Today marks the last day that I will know. Yesterday was the last day, y'all. Cause today I woke up feeling great. But all them other thoughts, bro, all this shit, nigga don't need that shit. Cause what you telling God is, what you telling the universe is, you ain't ready for what's in store for your future. Because you keep on fucking around with your past self. My you gotta shake hand with your past self. Let that nigga get up out of there. Let her get up out of there. That's your past self. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Shake hand with it. Be cool with it. Move forward. You can't move forward with that motherfucker. And the time the pad come knocking at the door, it ain't got nothing to offer, y'all. On God. <laughs> shout out, shout out to you. But anyway, nah, for real. Shake hand with it, bro. You don't hold grudges with nobody. You don't hold grudges with yourself. You don't beat yourself up. You don't beat yourself down. You cannot do that. Ah. <sighs> We cannot do that as humans, bro. We can't do that as people. You feel know what I'm saying? And one way or another, we're gonna have to learn that shit, man. We cannot beat ourselves up about our past mistakes. We cannot do that. It doesn't work like that. Life doesn't even work like that. You can't do it. You see what I'm saying? You gotta relax. It's okay to relax with just pay like, like I said, shake hand with it. You move with gratitude, move with peace, move with love at all times. That's the shit that I'm learning. When I be getting on this motherfucker, it's because I'm learning things. It ain't because I got this shit all figured out, you know. And soon, when I have a million subscribers, I plan to still be trying to figure shit out. Because, like, not figuring shit out is boring, bro. If, you, if, if I could just calm down... And breeze through all this shit when I come from when I come to Earth. If I can just, I heard somebody say this earlier today. If when I come when I come to Earth and I just breeze through all this shit, ain't no fun in it. Ain't no obstacles. Ain't no challenges. You don't even know what it feels like to be to feel good no more. Cause you just breeze through everything. You just walk just like a silver spoon, but you just walk your ass right on in the motherfucking door. You don't know what the fuck nothing. You never felt pain. See what I'm saying? I can, I can. Be okay with the hurt that I felt. Yeah, cuz, appreciate you. Yeah, y'all, y'all made me feel good about myself. You know what I'm saying? It makes you feel good. You can you cannot. My shit ain't gonna ever be a breeze. You shouldn't want it to. You keep going. You gotta be okay with this shit. You gotta be okay with it. keep going. You came down here, you brought your motherfucking ass back to earth. You chose to come back down here. And I'm gonna tell your funk ass to come back down here. Just like I be telling myself that shit. We came back down here. Chose fought up. Let get my ad, let get the portal so I can make this portal and get my ad to this motherfucker. You feel me? Chow the life. We set up the lifeline. We set up how we wanted this shit. It's so crazy because when you look at how you set up your life, and some people are, they don't have no control over it. Some people, some people are like just bodied out. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what the fuck they're doing. But anyway, now he set this shit up. Man, he set this shit up. You got your ass down here. You start complaining. Shut the fuck up and keep moving, fool. And that's what I be trying to tell myself, bro. You got to keep moving. Life is made and this shit beautiful. 
tripping hard to hear right now. God, as y'all can see, tripping hard in the motherfucker. But she amazing, fool. She beautiful. She lovely. She fantastic. But what makes it not fantastic, and I notice this shit about myself today too, and I hate to keep on saying things because I'm trying to get y'all the game from my experience. Now, if you want another motherfucker to just say something else and not give you no game and just talk about, I'm, at least I'm giving y'all from my experience so I can get some game to y'all that can probably help y'all on y'all experience. You see what I'm saying? Uh, this is a Venn session for me. T-Top. Hey, strong talk with top, y'all. Man, you come on here and you be whoever the fuck you want to be. So, you got to be okay with your mistakes, bro. You got to be okay with everything that you have done to build your character for today. You cannot be like, ah, I hated it. And I'm going to tell you something. A friend of mine actually said that because I would beat myself up about my past self one day. And she said something that made so much fucking sense. Shout out to her, right? So, she said... Your past self, you shouldn't beat your past self up. Like, damn, your past self, like, damn, nigga, I'm the one who built you up to the good self. Because you're gonna look, I'm gonna look back at this self, you're gonna look back at yourself today and be like, damn, it's still some shit that I elevated from then in the future. You see what I'm saying? So you can't beat your, you can't beat your past self up. You know what I'm saying? Can't beat your past self up. You gotta shake hands with it. My, hey, look, bro, appreciate you for guiding me. For helping me become who I am today. So I can never beat my past self up, bro, again. And it made so much sense when she put it like that. Like, yeah, you don't beat yourself up, but your past self. You know how motherfucker be like, ah, hell, I used to be terrible. I used to be terrible. Man, you got to embrace your past. Because your past is how your ass got here. The fuck you talking about? Strong talk with top on my mama. This, this, hey. I don't give a fuck about what no nigga think about me, man. This is my podcast. This is what we got going on in here. And this is the type of shit that we on. Consciousness, developmental, knowledge. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a lot of shit that we're gonna expand and do for, but I'm gonna tell you, bro, we not on all that dick. Hey, we dropping game, we dropping knowledge, we dropping all that, but I ain't on that dick. Man, you gotta do this or you gonna do this. And nah, man, look, bro, they judging. God don't judge. Jesus didn't judge. We're not judging. Fuck you. Do what the fuck you want to do. You feel me? Do what makes you happy. Now, you ain't finna come on my motherfucking podcast and JV doing what the fuck I disagree with. And disagree, you go, go, because I can disagree with you in the conversation and it cannot be that, but I'm saying, like, totally disagree. You put your motherfucking ass right at my establishment. You feel me? But yeah, man. Shake hand with your past self. Love your life. Love who you are today. Because it was it was once upon a time. Ah, uh, excuse me, y'all. It was once upon a time you had to develop the characteristics to become who you are today. Can't beat your past self up about it. Never hate who you were. Because who you were is how you got here today. Never hate who you were. These lights are killing our um. Uh, are great. I try to be careful with my language, bro, because English is a spell language. English, English is why they call it spelling. You can spell. You can put spells on anything with the English language. This is not even our language. This is England, English language. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to be careful with your words because you can actually be spelling, spelling yourself or spelling somebody or spelling something or putting a spell on a motherfucker you don't even know exists. You know, that's why it's in Spin some of my motherfucking guy with the camera, y'all. He didn't, he didn't, he said he wanted to rest. I never had my camera overheat, bro. This is the second time. Ah, this is the second time it did this shit since I've been on this trip. It's, 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 it's interesting. But anyway, like I was saying, bro, it's a lot of cool shit down here on Earth. You start fucking with uncool people, and that's what we all fuck up. We meet a lot of uncool people. And that's not where we fuck up. I just meant to say that. That's not where we fuck up, guys. We don't fuck up there. We never fucked up. You never fucked up. <laughs> Nothing is a fuck up. They want everybody to think that something is a fuck up. It's a lesson. And it's a blessing. Because if you didn't meet uncool motherfuckers, you wouldn't know what the cool motherfuckers look like. Or feel like. Whatever. 
It's a lot of cool shit going down on this motherfucking planet, boy. Teddy. No one of them. But anyway, guys, I hate when this type of shit happens. Immediately uh, get my ass punched right now because we was, we was in deep thought once again. And yeah, forgive your past self. Forgive yourself. Forgive your past self. Your past self is how you got here today. Fuck with that mind, bro. Fuck with that mind. Both of them mind. Both my nigga hit kid. I'm my mom. And my nigga cocaine birthday. Oh, uh, 12. We probably stay on my nigga birthday. Hey. Yeah, I might stay up. I'm going I'm to upload this shit on my nigga birthday. I'm going to upload this shit on my nigga birthday. I'm doing mushroom, cocaine. What happened, man? Happy birthday to my boy. Anyway, that was a quick intermission. Yeah. In, inter, intermission. So, yeah. But yeah, guys, um, life happens very fast, fool. You got to take advantage of this shit. Take advantage of this shit and never, never uh, regret anything, bro. Don't regret shit, nigga. You popped it. Keep popping your shit. You already popped it already. Nigga be regretting shit that's in the past. How the fuck you going to regret some shit you already done? You did it. <laughs> it's over. Pop your shit like you were popping your shit when you popped your shit then, nigga. Yeah, and that's how you gotta treat your past here. Y'all fuck with them. My no grits with none of this shit. Ain't no grits. We ain't have no grits. We ain't have no none of it. Feel me? Yeah, understand. <sighs> so, yeah, guys, I ain't gonna lie. This is a a, a very, very great trip. Like, I'm here with y'all. I'm kicking it. Y'all like the little, the new little setup? Strong talk with top. Y'all like the new little setup? Should I do it this way? I don't know. I don't give a fuck. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> anyway, bro, I love y'all, bro. I love y'all. I feel like the uh, the video, I don't even know how long I was even doing this shit, G. Just because the camera kept cutting off. I'm tripping. I, I have lost all, uh, I have lost all, I don't have any time. Time is an illusion. I, I have lost all tracks of that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, that kind of fucked the nigga up. Threw me for a loop. <laughs> so now we just tripping, fool. And I just want to tell y'all, bro, stay positive, bro. Love life. Be full of life, fool. Don't let nobody suck the fun out your way, bro. Oh, gosh, people suck the fun out of everything. Gotta keep, keep doing this shit. Gotta keep doing this for y'all. Keep doing this shit for you. And enjoy life, bro. There's no such thing as getting old. Motherfucker be like, you're too old, you're too old. We suck the fun out of every fucking thing. Talk about we too old. We ain't old shit. Nigga, I just found out today. Who is that? Moses died at 120 and he died a perfectly healthy man. It was just his season. That's another topic we're going to talk about. It was his season. His season had living with Joshua. You feel what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of these, a lot of these stories got to get into the Bible because a lot of this shit is like actually interesting, bro. This shit real interesting. You take it with what you take it for. You don't use it to judge. You don't use it to go against. Even though this is the condensed version of the Bible, it has a lot of interesting facts in there as well. And um, that's a cool fact for you, bro. Your season can be can your season can end. Uh, you never know when your season ends, so you gotta take advantage of your seasons. Know your seasons. That's why I started off the conversation earlier, bro. You gotta know your seasons. Know your seasons. Prepare for your seasons. Uh, when animals. Animals, they live life in the summer. You know why they live in life in the summer? Because they preparing for the winter, baby. They stocking up. You need to stocking up. They know their seasons. We the only motherfuckers on planet Earth don't know our seasons, man. We don't know them. <laughs> so get what? Every time the winter comes, get what we do. And winter's an illusion, too. It's made to make you feel depressed and sad. Anyway. Um... Uh, Every time it comes around, bro, we get the, yeah, uh, it's cause we ain't prepared shit for it. We ain't 
We didn't give a fuck about it. Now, I'm gonna let y'all do all this hot summer shit this year. I ain't, I'm knowing my season. I know my season. My summer, I love my summer. I love being in the heat. I love all that. I love being outside. I love it. You feel me? But I have to take in what I can take in to prepare for the winter so it won't dread me. So it won't dread y'all. You got to prepare. They using all this shit food to knock y'all off y'all hustle, to knock y'all off y'all ground. All this hot girl summer shit, this hot boy summer shit, all this shit. And there's no disrespect to the song. Beautiful song. Amazing. We are years behind anyway. This shit happened two years ago. But anyway, just saying. All this big summer shit. All this big D signs and all this other shit, bro. It's hot. That's it. You're supposed to have fun in the heat. Just like you're supposed to have fun in the winter. You're supposed to have fun in all seasons. But the difference between us, we don't know them motherfuckers. So we can't have fun in all seasons. Because we don't know our seasons. We don't know shit. We know turn up in the summer, they walk there all we know, bro. Yeah, they gonna be going to edit it down for the fuckers, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know when this episode gonna end, bro, but I'm finna go on in this giant fool before we get too deep in this motherfucker again. Y'all know what's going on. I have lost track of time, y'all. So if this episode is short, I never would know till I edit it. I don't give a fuck right now, cause I'm tripping. <laughs> Love y'all, bro. T-Top. Mad this bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thrash like motherfucking social club, bitch. <laughs>